You know what really bugs me? Being called a fake. And this happened to my friend Lauren like not that long ago because she had one picture that was apparently too edited and she only has one picture because she just got her hair done so she doesn't have that many photos to show off yet and you know there are some really weird people claiming to be others and it was so weird because some chick tried to claim that my picture, like she was trying to say that I was a fake, and claim, trying to claim her picture, or no, trying to claim my picture as her, and I was like, uh, uh no. And she was like, okay, then make me a sign. And I was like, well, if if it was actually you, you wouldn't need a sign to, to like, to have proof, proof or whatever. Because it would be you, but it's not. It's me. And she, like, got all pissy and tried to, and, like, made me get on, like, MSN and get on my webcam and stuff. It was so weird, and then she was, uh, and then she was, she like tried to claim me as her sister or something. It was so weird. It was so strange. She was like eleven. I was like, oh, wow, okay. And I'm not even that good looking. Like, I am not a scene queen or whatever you call them. They're called scene queens. I would, mm, um, and, uh, she, oh, it was so weird, she was like, how old are you, and I was like, I'm, you know, 16, 17, she's like, oh, that's how old my sister is, and I was like, yeah, I only have an older sister and a younger brother, and she's like, really, because my sister ran away from home, like, when she was like, 10 or something, and I was like, yeah, um, I've been here my whole life, I don't, uh, I don't know you, and she's like, really, are you sure I could be your little sister, and I was like, uh, no, the only little, little sister I have is 13 and living in this house, even though he's a boy, but, you know, could be a sister, you don't know. And, God, fakes these days are so easy to spot. It's incredible. Like, they'll be trying to claim them as, like, Alex Evans or Michael McAbre or Victoria Venom or, um, Brooklyn Bones or, like, Brickell or something, Brickell Bones. And, ugh. I say like way too much. Anyway, um, our friend Eric, Eric Adrenaline or something like that, he, his friend Chris, don't know what he's called, but he had like an online girlfriend who claimed she was from Issaquah, but if she was from Issaquah, I would know her because Issaquah is tiny and I know all like the rebel scene kids there and so we were like trying to tell him she was a fake and all that because it was Brookell Bones and I was like dude you are so naive and so my friend Lauren like showed me who she was and I, w I went on a uh, little like undercover trying to find like an actual profile of Bra Raquel Bones and I found her um, like yearbook kind of page thing and we showed it to him and he yeah it was you got if you're gonna fake someone do it well okay like find someone who 
isn't popular. Like, I'm not gonna, like, list a whole bunch of people that are not, po that are, like, unpopular queens or kings or, you know, emo sceny weenie kids. Because that'll just piss them off. Um, and I'm not gonna tell you where to find the good pictures either, because I know where to get them. But, um, honestly, you guys, really, why, what's the point of trying to be someone who you aren't? Because that is just pathetic. It's, it's, no, it's a no. I don't like it. I will hunt you down and skin you alive for trying to claim you're someone else. Beanstacks! I will link my friend's YouTube in the sidebar over there, or down there, you know, wherever it is these days. I can't even, I don't even know where it is anymore. YouTube has changed way too much. Comment, rate, subscribe, I don't care. Some comments would be nice, because I'm getting kind of bored. And, I don't know. I don't even know anymore. See ya.